Hi, so I'm Keith Harding, company name is Beyond HD and uh, we'd like to introduce you to a brand new bit of technology that's come out uh, just at BBU show, uh, so two days ago, it's the first uh, time it's been seen anywhere in the world and uh, I'd like to introduce you to our exoskeleton, uh, which uh, Riz is beautifully modelling there. The concept behind the exoskeleton and the reason for it existing is that as uh, more and more people are using um, gyro stabilised gimbals uh, like the one we use which is the, uh, the Letters Helix and as those become more capable of taking larger cameras, larger payloads so the issue becomes that people cannot carry them for long, uh, long periods and they very quickly fatigue so the idea behind this is to take away all of the weight from the operator's arms and transfer it onto the hips that means that an operator, even with a big lump like this, we've got about 10 kilos probably with lens, uh, map box and camera. Even with a setup like this, you could operate easily for an hour uh, without any problem at all and probably even longer than that if you wanted to. So it's really a great solution. But what makes it very special is it's been designed from the ground up. It's not a piece of existing technology that's been modified to try and make it work. This has been designed from the ground up uh, by our friends in uh, France. Uh, company name is Exhaust, and this is their exoskeleton. So as you can see, as Riz, as Riz is moving around, He's got total freedom of where he can move. He's not restricted in any axis. He can move back, he can move forward, he can move up and down with the camera. We can even get it so that the camera's pretty much over his shoulder. And that's not possible with any of the suspended systems that are out there, because with a suspended system, you're always a fixed distance away from where your camera's going to be. So if the line is coming down here, you've always got the line in front of you, and you've got a lot of flex and things like that coming from behind you with those sort of systems. Some people have tried with the idea of just putting a steady cam arm uh, or two steady cam arms and doing it like that, and that works to a degree. But the problem is, without the wings at the back, you cannot actually take the camera back on yourself. You're always at that fixed distance. By attaching it to your arms, that restricts you as well. So this gives the operator total freedom to move in any direction, up, down, sideways. We've even had a steady cam operator ask us whether or not it would be possible to effectively put the camera on backwards so that he can walk forwards and shoot back. And we demonstrated that to his total satisfaction. So we're really pleased with it, it's a great product. It's a little over four and a half thousand pounds uh, to, to, to buy, but it's, uh, it's, it's beautifully, beautifully made. Uh, and as you can see here, with the way it's operating, it allows you a, a great, great degree of movement and motion and takes total weight across it. And if you ask Riz now, look at his forehead, not a spot of uh, perspiration on his head, and he can do this for another hour or two hours, or however long I pay him to do it for, probably. So if you want to buy one of these things, you can come along to our website, www.beyondhd.tv. Uh, we actually have a, a microsite that we're going to set up for this shortly, and at the moment you can get it onto either the letters.uk.co.uk, uh, uh, or you can just get it straight from us, give us a call, and we can ship them. They are currently on about a two to three week lead time.